What's happening, you boobers? Welcome back to the Java Suprema Aero Road Bike. Amazingly, tons of you mugs actually watched my last video, so I thought I'd make another one to try and help some of you out because I think some people are probably looking at this bike on because they found it on Alibaba and they're thinking, do, do I purchase this bike? And so hopefully I can help you out. I've been throwing my leg over this now for over eight months and it's been eight months of loving this bike things that i love about it is first of all the looks i mean it just it just looks me people when i take when i take it into into bike shops people just literally they do just stare at it and just like oh that is a good looking bike so yeah so the looks are good i love the paint job uh, the colors i love that straight front fork just looks like a time trial bike. Same with the flat, straight top tube, the dropped chain stays. It all looks, you know, it, it looks the business. I love the sound it makes when it's shifting because of the carbon uh, fiber frame. It, you know, you get that sort of echoey sound. So yeah, it's sweet. And it, it performs out on the road. I mean, it is lighter and faster than, you know, I've got another everyday, everyday aluminium bike. And you know, this is just so much better to ride. It's been a great bike to have. I don't do any racing on it. Uh, I do ride it every day for about an hour, usually. Uh, I do also ride it for longer. Um, yeah, and it is always, it's always great. I find it comfortable as well. So if you're thinking, oh, you know, you hear about these bikes not being, not being very comfortable, I certainly wouldn't say that about, about this bike. You know, it's fine to ride it for all day, you know, sort of over, over between four and six hours I've done a few on them so so yeah I and mean, it's been it's been absolutely fine absolutely fine what else can I tell you about it oh right so some changes changes so this is the old handlebars and the old stem that came with this bike this is just a hairband that I hang this on the wall with uh, so the cables were coming through here underneath the bar tape and then coming into the stem through this little hole in the side here and then out the back here and then down into the frame if you look at my last video you see what they were like uh, there was a little bit of wear on the outside of the cables nothing dramatic not affecting performance but if you get it just keep an eye on that or maybe change the cables length a little bit early just fiddle with it and uh, maybe you can alleviate some of that I also changed this because this was too long for me and I wanted to fiddle with my position and the same with the handlebars. I don't like these shapes. And I don't know why anybody likes these flat uh, top handlebars. <laughs> I, uh, all right, they look more aero looks. Yes, I get that, but I find them so uncomfortable. So, so yeah, I changed those. And, uh, you know, what, changing these? You know, you can get one at a stem for like 13 quid. Handlebars, 15 quid. And then, you know, easy enough to change and make yourself uh, comfortable on the bike. Uh, the seat post is different on here than the one that you would probably be looking at on Alibaba. This is a longer carbon fiber one, all black. But I went to the factory. The one that you're looking at on Alibaba is probably um, gray, whitish, and probably won't be as long. It was slipping a little bit. I don't know if anybody else has this bike. Maybe they could chip in here um, if that has been a problem for other people. But that's probably because it's not the, the seat post that this bike should come with. It's a from a from a different bike but longer and carbon fiber as i'm saying so can't really hold that against it anyway it's and it also it's fixed what else has changed the wheels you can probably notice uh, there's not much point in me talking about the wheels because the wheels are from a chinese brand i've looked all over the interweb and i can't i, can, I can't find them on any english speaking website or where you would buy them outside of china I just know how you can get them in China, so there's little point about me talking about those. You just need to know that they look mean, they're carbon fiber, and you can't get them. Uh, so that's good for me. What else? Ah, the tires, the tires that came with the bike were Michelin Dynamic Sport 23 millimeters, and they were terrible. I got tons of punches with them. I mean, maybe it's where I was riding, but I've changed to some uh, Continental uh, Grand Sport Extras, which means we've got extra punch protection there. Obviously, that makes them a little bit heavier, but I've I put these on the old wheels as well. I've had them for three months and I haven't had a puncher since I've had them. 
so much better than the um, than the tyres that came on there. And also these are a little bit wider, so they're more comfortable. Oh uh, yeah, so 25 mil tyres tire are in here. I would say you could get bigger. Actually, yes, I did. I did get some uh, a 28. It was fine in the front, but it was not okay in the back with these brakes. So if you're thinking that you would like to get 28 mil tires into this frame, you won't unless you change the brakes. If you change the brakes to some 105s that will fit uh, um, 25 mil, so the bloke in the bike shop told me, uh, then no problem. But otherwise, 20, 25 is probably going to be your your maximum, or you know, if you can get in between ones. But you know, no. 28 was was too much. Uh, also, it didn't look that good. <laughs> um, so, so that's but that's uh, that's by the by. The one the one issue that I'd say has been worst thing about the bike is the steering. The steering was super loose since I got it, and. I took it to a couple of bike shots. They didn't want to tighten the top cap anymore because they worried that it's carbon and they might break it. Um, but it was just too loose. It's all right now because I've, I've done something. Let me tell you what I've done. Um, so this part here is part, it's a top cap, uh, sorry, not a top cap. It's a spacer, carbon fiber spacer that comes with the bike. Um, but I've found a video GCM one of course trolling through after watching for ages and found this one part and uh, John Canning on there he was saying if you have a carbon frame and you have a spacer like this a carbon spacer that is fitted into the frame like this one is then check that it isn't pushing onto the frame and that's exactly what it was when I was screwing there it was compacting this down onto the top of the frame instead of compacting down onto the bearings. Um, so what I've done is I've taken a, a spacer off the top there and popped it in the bottom here, which has now got this hideous gap, but that's because there's a five mil spacer in there. I just need to get a, you know, a smaller spacer and this will sit flush, or even a washer, even a very thin washer, maybe a one mil or two mil, and this will sit flush again. But I haven't been able to do that because Actually, here in China, this is the middle of the coronavirus outbreak, or hopefully the end of the coronavirus outbreak. So um, I've been fitting with my position. I need to get that steerer cut, and also I need to get that, um, yeah, they need to get that spacer in there, and then, and then that'll be fine. What else can I tell you? Well, the, the brand Java, and being worried about buying it on Alibaba, don't worry, like I say, I, I haven't had a problem with it or, or any other problems with it. It's, it's a good bike and anything that has gone wrong is, is easily, easily fixable. I bought this direct in the factory and when I was there, I actually met the guy that designed this bike and I was saying to him, I was worried about, uh, or you hear that, that, that Chinese carbon isn't as strong as it could be. So he said, oh no, no, no. And he, he took the bike, he took the back wheel out Oh, you're slamming it around. And I was like, be careful. <laughs> and, uh, and anyway, yeah, he was slamming it around. He put, the, he put the bike on the floor without the back wheel in. And then he stu stood on the, on the chain stays and on the seat stays. And then he just jumped up and down. And when I say jumped up and down, I mean he was taking one foot jumps into the air and landing back down. And I was just, uh, you know, I was just like, what? Stop, stop. And he's like, it's fine. Because he says, everybody comes in and says, oh, you know, we're worried about Chinese carbon not being strong. And he's like, the, the frame is totally strong. You won't have any problems there. Um, so, and I certainly haven't any problems there. And if he's willing to do that with every bike, sort of like a quality control test um, that, that they're selling, then I would say that you're, you're not going to have any problems yourself. With the price of it, I thought, it's just, you, you're just not going to get these looks and this performance, I don't think, for, for, for the money elsewhere. So... Yeah, I think it's great. Here in China, I just stumbled across this one. There are other brands out here that you probably haven't heard of, and they come in at similar price points. But I got this one because, to me, it had the it's got the right the right frame shape that I wanted. I really wanted that aero uh, frame, so so this is the one that I popped for. People out here in China, they're the same same with cars. You know, they branding and all that. They they you know there are literally tons of Chinese brand cars that you've never heard of 
Um, but they don't want to drive it. Well, they do drive them, but they don't want to drive them. They want to drive BMWs, Mercedes, you know, Audis. Uh, it's the same with bikes. They want the guys, they want the, the, the bikes that the guys are on in the World Tour. They want the, the Pinarellos, you know, the Canargos, Trex Specialized. Uh, so, so I think these ones have quality. Uh, sorry, the Javas have quality, but they can't uh, come in at that high price point because people want the bikes of the world too. But you, but having said that, you do see these bikes for sale in uh, other countries. I hear they're popular in Malaysia, India, maybe. Uh, I just recently went on holiday to the Philippines. I was in a bike shop talking with some guys showed them a picture of this bike and they were like oh and they were like oh it's very expensive here in the in the philippines so maybe it changes from from where places to go and also they knew that you know they knew the brand they were like oh yeah it's a, a good bike but here in china it doesn't necessarily have such a such a great reputation but like i'm saying that's because they want the the world tour guys ones i think i've covered everything <laughs> well i don't really want to talk anymore if you do have any questions then please ask me but uh, I will take an eternity probably to get back to you, but hopefully I can help. If you, if anybody else owns one, let us know something about it. Um, if you've had any issues with it, it is helpful for for guys that are thinking about buying, you know, a bike on uh, on the line, than uh, than um, than uh, going to a bike shop. Um, this is a, a well frame size as well. Sorry, just one more thing. This is a fifty three. Um, I am bang on six foot, uh, and so this is a 53, which is which is good for me. I've got what I would say longer legs and lanky arms, um, but this is <clears throat> this is good for me. I did sit on a, I think the other one was a 52. I sat on that one; it was just too small for me. So yeah, 53, much better. Okay, yeah, um, I think that's about it. I can't rabbit on anymore. So hope you found that useful.